Fellow Pioneer, I'm here today with another good news. There's been a big question flying around for a while now. This question is why exactly is Pi Network trying to get the exchange platforms that listed Pi to delist it from their platform? I know a lot of people feel kind of confused by this. Actually, what most people believed is that the main aim of all pioneers is to get the Pi coin on major exchange so they can all trade their Pi coin and get rich from it. So when Pi finally got listed on Huobi Global and other exchanges, all Pioneer were very excited to see their long-time dream come true. But, fellas, that was not the case. Few moments after it was listed, the Pi Core team quickly communicated that no one should pay attention to it. They also implored the exchanges that listed Pi to unlist them with immediate effect. Now, the big question is, why did the Core team ask those exchanges to delist Pi? More important, what exactly is taking so long for Pi to reach open mainnet? Well, I have a surprising video to show you guys about what the core team has in stock for Pi, which is the answer to the above questions. This video explains how PyCoin is planning to collaborate with Google AdSense. The truth of the matter is, what the Pi core are claiming to have in stock for pioneers is way more than just getting the coin listed on exchange where the value will keep dropping. They plan to somehow integrate it into Google AdSense. Anyways, guys, this video I'm about to show you will give more explanations on it. Now, let's move on. So, Pi Network Teams has released an update on the progress of KYC and also explained what we pioneers might expect. Since the team's major update in July 2022, I don't know if we pioneers can remember that on December 6th last year, the Pi Network blog explained the changes they made to the KYC procedure, then they explained the next step that will be taken and the network general priorities, which became their next major update as at December last year. And not only that, two of the most important goals of Pi in the year 2023, according to the blog, are the growth of the ecosystem and the implementation of KYC. Your extreme patience is needed as the team works with its millions of members who are located all over the world. Yes, us. They are working with millions of us to make not only KYC better, but to make Pi Network itself better for us. The Pi Network team can quickly verify the identities of millions of pioneers with the help of improved automation. And as we all know that Pi Group's main objective is to help users who are currently going through the KYC procedure complete it. As much as I personally will want the Pi Network to still operate in it closed mainnet, well, it won't really be bad if it also change operation to open mainnet. The major hurdle of Pi Network unveiling the date of the mainnet launching is because of the KYC procedure. Although it is being delayed, but it is for a good course, so the process of the KYC procedure been delayed is because they want to be able to filter out people using fake accounts. To put it in a simple term, the KYC procedure is delayed in order to filter out scammers, which is in quotes with the blog post. The KYC work is not only about scaling and allowing people to pass, but also to ensure that the overall KYC goals are achieved to let real pioneers in different countries and regions in order to enable them pass KYC as accurately and safely as possible while preventing as many fake accounts as possible. The Know Your Customer KYC update will not only improve, but also extend the existing method while also making it easier to use for end customers. In addition, the team is working to remove the roadblocks that have prevented the processing of an increasing number of applications. This Guys, is very essential. I noticed something very that unusual. Great security what I discovered the is, is launched. whenever any now new think cryptocurrency of when the is about get to launch, or just it will be the crypto market, market, which everyone tries to, to the find fact that my coin and himself. Himself. your coin. You'll see and that they'll begin by explaining that various methods happening and on Pi Network is in safe that hands. somehow prove Fellow that pioneers, yes, they have predicted the final launch price of it. And surprisingly, people just blindly believe them. So what I said, I noticed, is that people have started bastardizing our beloved Pi with some ridiculous and absurd prices. And that's making people beginning to think we are scam. Okay guys, check out the price that this website is predicting for Pi. The website is predicting that each Pi will be worth about $314,000. Hold on guys, let me show you what's more shocking. I'll give you a quick illustration. Listen guys, there are 20 million people that have completed their KYC, and each user has received an average of 500 pies. Furthermore, if we multiply that by 20 million, 
we have 10 million pies, which are presently in the hands of the pioneers. So, if 10 billion were multiplied by $314,159, which some guys are claiming each lie cost, then the cost to the total pie would be, I have no idea what number this is, 314-159-000000, blah, blah, blah. Common guys. This is excessively ridiculous. I personally disprove most of those claims. Therefore, fellas, brace yourself and stick with us till the very end. So fellas, the hype is if you have a few Pi coins, you'll be extremely wealthy, since according to a website, Pi's price upon debut will be over $300,000. That's funny. The website specifies that the cost will be $314,159. What's more shocking though? On the internet, there are a number of people who assert that they have made real purchases using the Pi at this pricing. Additionally, they stated that they have proofs to back up their claims, which I personally believe some are truth, while some are not. So, the big question is, are all these transactions really taking place? Please don't get me wrong. I didn't say these transactions are not taking place. It's just that we need to be more sincere and honest with ourselves because it won't be nice for us to keep believing in things that are ridiculous. Actually, in some of my past videos, I also mentioned various transactions that were reported to be made using Pi coin. But that doesn't mean we should let overhypers spoil the reputation of our beloved Pi. So now let's get more serious. Will a slice of Pi make you rich? Let's do the investigation together. As I previously mentioned, there are a number of people online who assert that they have paid their expenditures with Pi. Let me demonstrate a few of them. It appears from this image that they enjoyed their hotel meal. However, this is not what they are actually attempting to say. The main message they are conveying through this is that they are all holding their mobile phones with the Pi Networks application open, and they are essentially demonstrating how they utilized the tokens they had mined to pay their expenses. Not all of these posts from the region of Vietnam have been published. As you can see, a man from Vietnam tweeted a photo of his pricey watch and said that he purchased it using Pi, which did cost him about 0.7 Pies. The price of the watch was roughly $2,200 in US dollars. You can see from these posts that he is not only displaying his watch, but also the documentation of the transactions he carried out using Pi. Additionally, he said, yes, one Pi is worth the sum I previously informed you. And as I just mentioned, the Pi network is a little more prevalent in Vietnam, which is why I'm making that claim. Well, it will be clarified in the following post. One of the craziest posts I've read thus far is this one. From this video, you guys can observe how obsessed the Vietnamese are with the Pi network. This is a little strange. In Vietnam, an auto dealership started taking payments in Pi. Utterly absurd, correct? Now, some viewers will naively assume that these are unquestionably false and true. You will now assert that the Pi Network has a sizable user base of more than 35 million people. Yes, we do. But if you dig a little bit deeper, you'll discover that there are roughly 20 to 25 Twitter groups dedicated just to promoting the Pi Network. They publish about the Pi Network every hour, portraying it as the greatest cryptocurrency ever. Once again, guys, don't get me wrong. Pi Network is fantastic, and I am also a pioneer myself. But common guys, isn't this ridiculous? And I'm not really sure who those individuals are. Specifically in 2023, let's investigate. What price will the Pi coin have in 2023? Let's get this out of the way first before we discuss the many perspectives on the future of Pi. Because the cryptocurrency market is typically quite volatile and nobody knows what the future may bring, making an accurate prediction about the future of a crypto coin is like trying to catch the wind. For Pi, this unpredictability is significantly worse due to two key factors. Pi has no price history for one. Therefore, the only information available to anyone is what the Pi team has promised, as well as the apps and ecosystem's present features and rankings. However, as we can see with Bitcoin and Ethereum, 
The Pi network has not yet been able to keep up with the price trend of the cryptocurrency market. Therefore, no one can predict the future with absolute confidence. That's it for now. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and notification bell down below, so you get to know whenever we post similar videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.